Okay, well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Purdue Fort Wayne First Lego League Challenge Championship Season One Celebration. My name is Chris Osborne. I'm the program director for First Indiana Robotics, and this evening I'll be your MC. First and the Lego Group partnered to create this program in 1998. First Lego League started that year with 200 teams. This season, more than 320,000 kids in 100 countries are participating around the world. First Lego League teams prepared for this tournament by working on the robot game and an innovation project and developing their core values and teamwork. For the replay innovation project, teams were challenged to think about how and where they could help be more active, design a solution and share their solution with others. In the robot game, teams can earn points during a two and a half minute match. The robot game and innovation project are what we do. Our first core values support how we do what we do. When things get tough, you never wanna forget about gracious professionalism. It means competing like crazy against the clock, but treating each other with respect. Always keep that in mind and know we'll all have more fun. Teams, coaches, parents, and volunteers when we treat each other with gracious professionalism. Now, I'm very happy to introduce Carol Dostal with Purdue Fort Wayne. Hi, everybody. On behalf of the season one first Lego League Championship Tournament staff and volunteers, I want to congratulate you for participating in this year's tournament. The 2020 tournament is really historic for so many reasons. We, all of us, teams, coaches, tournament staff, and volunteers, we all did a robotic competition completely online, and that has never been done before. Purdue Fort Wayne, formerly called IPFW, has hosted this tournament since 2000, and we are so pleased and happy to have done so. We're glad that we were able to welcome all of you to our campus for so many years and to participate in our online event this year. You know how every year people say to you that you are winners no matter what you win? Well, that's true, but you're something else. You are innovators. You all came up with an amazing project that we hope becomes real in the future. You are resilient. You and your coaches worked hard and did what you needed to do to get the job done in preparation for our event. But most of all, you are finishers. You made it all the way to the finish line of our tournament. That last one is really important for STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Think of all the scientists working on the new vaccines this year. They started their project and not everyone thought it could be done. Not everyone believed. Maybe even they didn't believe it, but they made it happen. And just like them, you and your team did it too. So being a finisher in the world of STEM is awesome. So congratulations to all of you. And I want to introduce you to someone else who'd like to greet you. Here is Dr. Adolfo Coronado, the Purdue Fort Wayne College of Engineering, Technology, and Computer Science Interim Dean, Associate Dean. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the College of Engineering, Technology, and Computer Science at PFW, I would like to congratulate all of you for completing this season. I'm particularly impressed by the hard work of all the 24 teams, so congratulations. As you reflect on what you have learned from this experience, you should be proud of your excellent work during this season. You learn many things from robotics, engineering design, programming, and innovative thinking. All of these are critical to paving the road to a brighter future. Also, you successfully overcome the unique challenges and obstacles that COVID brought to our lives. This year was PFW's 21st year of coordinating this tournament. It is our college and university mission to educate and engage our students and communities with purpose by cultivating learning, discovery, and innovation in an inclusive environment. We have achieved every aspect of that mission for 21 years. 
We're proud to have been the first LEGO League affiliate partner since 2000. And we had so many great teams come to our campus and many wonderful people that worked behind the scenes to make this possible. I would like to recognize and thank the hard work of the coaches. Your encouragement and guidance were instrumental in this program success, especially for navigating the additional challenges and opportunities faced in completing the season in a virtual environment. I would, like, I would like also to give a special thanks to Carol Dostal and her team at PFW for being excellent representatives of PFW for many years. You have done great work. Participants, I hope to see many of you as students in the future and please never lose the curiosity of learning new things, understanding new things and pursuing knowledge. I wish you all safe, healthy and happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Coronado, for those great words. We really appreciate you being here this evening and sharing this time with us. Over the past few weeks, we held three qualifying tournaments. Uh, and now what I'd like to do is list off the teams that advanced to this championship from those tournaments. Starting with the IU Northwest qualifier, we had teams 4641, MEMS Robotics Get Active. 94-53, Baby Penguins. 12-594, Robocats. 18-516, River Forest Ingbots. 21-449, Part 25-994. 23-924, Legendary Spartans. 26-188, Tubular 10. 51-059, The Washington Hornets. Next, from the Purdue University qualifier. Teams 4067, Lego C Blue. 4068, Lego C Gold. 4378, RDP Blue. 6038, Charger Robotics. 24842, Red Sus. 31195, Olympus Heroes. 32418, Dance Dance Robotics, 46176, Purple Pears, and 48803, RDP Green. And finally, from our University of Southern Indiana qualifier, Teams 150, Robo Raptors, 3816, Robo Rocks, 4882, Rocks Robotics, 9426, Rock Stars, 9452, Epic Followers of Chuck Norris, 10869, The Thunderbots, and finally 44868, CPR. Now, back to Carol Dostal for our Volunteer and Coach Mentor Awards. Hi again, everybody. I think we all know that these events could not happen without amazing volunteers who are dedicated. Tonight, I would like to honor two longtime volunteers who've made so much difference to our tournament and our outreach programs in so many ways. Each of them has volunteered for more than 15 years and each of them has played a key role at our tournaments and taken on leadership. The winner of the first Outstanding Volunteer Award is Mike Dobbs. Mike is a retired engineer who does consulting work, but he always times, finds time to volunteer. He has been a judge in robot design for all of these years, and for four of the years, he was our head judge. This year, he was lead judge in one of the rooms on Saturday. Mike also teaches our summer STEM robotic camp, and he inspires the students to keep working and improving their work on robots. Congratulations, Mike, and thank you for your volunteer service. The winner of the second Outstanding Volunteer Award is Chris Douse from Ivy Tech. Chris has been involved in our tournament since I came to the university 19 years ago. He started as a judge, and soon moved up to the innovative project head judge. 
He has been in that position for 15 years, and Chris has heard every amazing top project at all of our tournaments. Chris always says yes when I ask if he'll return. His consistency and dedication to education is evident in both his service to First Lego League and in, in his own career in higher education. We thank Chris for all of his service to First Lego League. Now I'd like to present the Coach and Mentor Award. Coaches and mentors inspire their teams to do their best, both as individuals and together. This award goes to the coach or mentor whose leadership and guidance is clearly evident and it best exemplifies the First Lego League core values. This year's winner of the Coach Award goes to Sarah Connor from Team FLL 12594 RoboCats. This coach's team said the following about their very special coach. Mrs. Connor has a smile on her face every time she comes in here and it just spreads to us. She has been there since the beginning and encourages us through our difficulties. Another reason she should get this award is that she is determined to keep us going so we don't lose faith during the COVID because of difficulties with the quarantine. Congratulations, Mrs. Connor. All right, well, thank you very much for those two awards and congratulations to uh, those folks. And thank you for all the time that you give to our teams uh, and to our, uh, to our students. I'm pleased next to announce or to introduce Lori Langley, first senior mentor, to announce the Global Innovation Award nominees. Lori? Thanks, Chris. I'm so excited to join today's celebration to honor our hardworking and truly inspiring Indiana teams. The Global Innovation Award encourages students to think like innovators and it honors the work they are doing on their innovative solutions to this year's replay theme. In 2021, during the first Global Innovation Awards, the first community will celebrate the next generation of innovators who will change the future. The following nominees from each of the Indiana First Lego League Challenge qualifiers will compete in February 2021 to be the Indiana Global Innovation Award nominee, competing with teams from around the world. The nominees are from the IU Northwest Qualifier, FLL Team 9453, Baby Penguins. From the Purdue Qualifier, FLL team 46176, the Purple Pairs. And from the University of Southern Indiana qualifier, FLL team 4882, Rock Spots. Congratulations teams and good luck as you move on to the next level of competition. Thank you, Lori. And congratulations to those teams for their nominations. Next, I would like to introduce Dr. Jeffrey Nowak, NYSTEM director at PFW to announce our next set of awards. Dr. Nowak. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate the introduction. And I've got to tell you, I've been a part of this event for the last two decades, since 2000, and every year is so special. But this year was really unique with teams that overcame so much to pull off such a great event. And so it's just been an honor for me to be a part of this, to work with Carol Dostel and all the great coaches, all the great mentors, all the great judges. And I'm really honored to be able to be a part of now awarding people and announcing who won awards at our great event this year. The first award that I will be announcing this evening is the Motivate Award. The Motivate Award celebrates a team that embraces the culture of First Lego League through team building, team spirit, and displayed enthusiasm. 
The Motivate Award goes this year to FLL Team 4882, the Rocks Bots. The next award is the Core Values Award. This award celebrates a team that displays extraordinary enthusiasm and spirit, knows that they can accomplish more together than they could as individuals, and shows each other and other teams respect at all times. The second place Core Values Award goes to FLL Team 32418, the Dance Dance Robotics. The first place Core Values Award goes to FLL 44868 CPR. And the final award that I have the honor of announcing this evening is the Innovative Project Award. These teams utilize diverse resources for their project to help them gain a comprehensive understanding of the problem they identified, developed a creative, well-researched solution, and effectively communicated their finding to judges and to their community. The second place Innovative Project Award goes to team FLL 4641, the MEMS Robotics Get Active. And the first place Innovative Project Award goes to FLL 48803, RDP Green. Congratulations to all of the winners. Thank you so much. Dr. Nowak, we appreciate your time and being with us and of course, helping out with all the years here with this tournament and congratulations to those winnings teams. Now I'd like to introduce Adam Rini, hardware engineering manager with QSC and head robot design judge to announce our robot awards. Adam. Hi, thanks, Chris. Um, it's always an honor to be involved in this program every year. I'm impressed with the amount of dedication of the coaches and students. And the first award I'm going to award is a robot design award. This team uses outstanding programming principles and solid engineering practices to develop a robot that is mechanically sound, durable, efficient, and highly capable of performing challenge missions. And the second place winner is team 4378, RDP Blue. Now for our first place winner in robot design, team number 10869, the Thunderbots. Now I also have the opportunity to present the Robot Performance Award. This award celebrates a team that scores the most points during the robot game. Teams have a chance to compete in at least three 2.5 minute matches and their highest score counts. The second place winner in Robot Performance is Team 150, the Robot Robo Raptors. And now for our first place robot performance, team 31195 Olympus Heroes. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Adam. And again, thank you for your time uh, with us and congratulations to those teams. Before we announce our final award, Let's take a quick moment to acknowledge those teams who are with us for the last time. Please cheer from home if you're aging out of First Lego League at the end of this season. We hope to see you all at a first, challenge, a first tech challenge or first robotics competition next year. Millions of dollars in scholarship funds are available to First Tech Challenge and First Robotics Competition students every year. Now, Back to Carol Dostal to announce our Champions Award. Hi, everybody. It's always such an honor when we get to this point in the tournament because it's our chance to recognize the two teams that 
our judges feel, along with the robot game, have achieved the best possible performance at the tournament. The Champions Award celebrates a team that really embodies the first LEGO League experience. They fully embrace core values while achieving excellence and innovation in robot performance, robot design, and the innovative project. Now I'd like to announce the second place champion award winner, and that goes to team 31195 Olympus Heroes. And our first place champion award winner, and by the way, this winner will compete with the season two champion award winner, award winner for the first Lego League uh, World Festival invitation. That team is team 21499, part 25994. Congratulations, Champion Award winners for doing awesome this year. And I wanna thank all of those who helped with the tournament, the judges, the referees, the people behind the scenes. And I just wanna say that it's been an honor to be a part of this tournament for so many years. Thank you so much, Carol. And thank you for being a part of this tournament for so many years. And thanks to all the volunteers again. Uh, from home, hopefully you're given a big round of applause for all the winners tonight, but also a big round of applause for all of you who worked so hard this season. Again, this was really a, a difficult season and we are so proud of all of you. So definitely a virtual high five to all of you out there uh, for the work you did. Um, the recording of this ceremony, so you know, uh, will be located on our YouTube channel. The link uh, is on a slide here that will show up in a few seconds. You can also find more information. Uh, we'll post about it on our social media. Uh, our three main social media tags are all the same, first in robotics. So finally, uh, it's my honor to say on behalf of all of those who presented this evening and uh, First Lego League community, uh, Thank you for watching, stay safe and happy holidays.